Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm going to do a uh, products I use on my hair. I've been getting asked what I use on my hair and you know, questions like that. So I want to make a video on it. My hair might look a little bit darker. That is because the beauty supply store that I go to do not carry the hair color I normally use. And if you guys want to know the red I use, I'm going to link it down below, the video of how I dye my hair red. Or you could just click anywhere here and I'll take you to that video. So yeah, that's why I haven't been filming because my hair was like super faded and I needed to dye it ASAP because it was like disgusting. So I recently dyed it yesterday and it's a little bit darker than what it normally is. I think this one was red hot yeah this one was red hot and the one I normally use is magenta so the shampoo and conditioner I use is um, herbal essence smooth collection list and this is how they look whoa this is how they look this is um, the shampoo and this one's the conditioner and they smell they smell real good so I highly recommend this um, this is what I have been using for since October. So, you do the math of how long I've been using it. So, I've been using it since October, since I went dark. Um, but before that, I used to use Garnier Fatigue's Color Shield and Riveting Red for my red hair. And I felt like that just, like, completely dried out my hair a lot. And the color, it was supposed to shield the color, but the color would come out faster i don't know why but since i went dark into um that plum color hair color yeah um since i went dark i um decided to try on new shampoos and i really like how that one was leaving my hair so i stuck through it and it has been working perfectly fine with this hair so that's what i use in the shower Before I used to use a small wide tooth comb but I lost it and then I was using a um, paddle brush and it just like was yanking on my hair so I had to buy a wide tooth, Ugh. a wide tooth comb and this is the one I use. It's from Conair and you guys see it has like wide teeth. Uh, duh. The reason why I use a wide tooth comb when your hair is wet is because doesn't yank it out as much and when I brush it I start off from the bottom and work my way through the midsection brushing down then up and brushing down never brush from your roots down always start down and work your way up you yank less hair trust me I know so then I use this healthy sexy hair soy tree soy tree wheat leave-in conditioner and it looks just like this um, I spray, you could say, three sprays on this side, three sprays on this side, and I like brush it out again. Then I go in with my Moroccan oil. Now as soon as I'm done with that, I use like a nickel size of this, and this is from Garnier Fritique Sleek and Shine Moroccan Sleek Oil Treatment. It looks like this and I had this for over a year I could say or maybe more like this little stuff has lasted me that long so yeah I highly recommend this I think this is around seven dollars I'm not sure it could be more it could be less but this is how this little thing looks like I grab like you could say a nickel size just like a little bit and I rub it in my hands then um, I start off by putting it on my ends like this and then working my way up but not towards my root because you don't want your hair to look oily so again I do it on the same side now once I get them once I get the oil on everything I whip it back and then I like start doing this motion here and some on my ends and 
that's basically it then i just sleep on it um if you have shorter hair you're gonna want to go with like a dime size or smaller normally take a shower around 12 midnight maybe one in the morning and then i sleep on it and let it air dry and everything i don't believe in blow drying my hair as soon as i got the shower unless i'm going out and it's like real cold until so then but that never happens because again i take my showers really early or really late in the um evening or really early in the morning yeah <laughs> my hair is completely dry um and you know i might not go out that day so it stays like this like right now i'm not going out i'm not going to style it because i'm not going out but if i am going out i use a paddle brush and this one is also from conair so this is the paddle brush i use to brush my hair again i um brush from my ends and work my way up protect my hair from any heat i use this tresemme heat tamer then i would style my hair um i either curl it and i use a curling wand and i use the numi curling wand now the hairsprays i use like i find this a big deal i don't know if some of you guys might not care at all but this is what you know helps me keep my hair less heat damaging thing so my all-time favorite hairspray is this one it's got to be smooth operator and well in john's job this goes for seven dollars and 26 cents i'm pretty sure that's where it goes all around and it got conditioner on it so i use this spray for when i do my hairs because this spray works amazing and it smells amazing one thing i love about this spray is that i spray it when i'm done curling my hair I can run my fingers through it and mind you the curls still stay in they do not fall out or anything like that that's why I love this hairspray it lets my hairstyle last longer than just one day and then like it being all crispy and not playable now when I run out of that hairspray I use not your mother she's a tease volumining hairspray and this is apple blossom and bamboo it looks like this and this also does the same thing it doesn't smell as nice as the other one like this one i don't know i don't like it that much well i don't like the smell of it but it works exactly the the same way as that one and that's what i like about it and again i only use this if i run out of the other one this one i think price is well around the same like around seven dollars so kind of pricey but they do last a couple of months so you don't even need like a whole lot this you just need a little bit now going back to the beginning of my um how i wash my hair so i wash my hair you could say i personally take a shower like every day a body shower okay some of you guys might find this nasty right now but i do not wash my hair when i take a body shower for the fact that one your hair needs natural oils and you know that's when your hair gets oily so once my hair is oily it's you know oil starts on top and i grab this brush and this is from goody it's like one of those little brushes like this i grab that brush and brush my hair from root to the bottom of my ends and that way i could distribute my oil all over my hair and help it get healthy i forgot where i read this i think i was watching um tv with my mother my mother-in-law and um that's where I saw it at. It was some Spanish show. I think it was Oi. I don't, I don't really recall. But the lady was like that. Natural oils is good for your hair. So that's what I do before I take a shower. Now, this is an example. This is not what happens sometimes. I mean, it depends. But this is an example. So let's say it's, um, it's Friday. 
I take a full on shower, hair and body included. Now, um, did anyone see that? My leg just like flickered. Okay, Saturday, I take a body shower, but not a hair shower. So I tie up my hair while I'm in the shower. Sunday, I do the same thing as Saturday. Um, come around Monday, I take a full body shower and I repeat the process all over. Now, before you guys tell me it's disgusting and all this shenanigans, again, natural oil is good for your hair and it's bad to like, you know, wash it every day in my theory. My light is like flickering out of nowhere. Between Saturday and Sunday, I use um, this Bad Head Rockaholic um, Dirty Secret Dry Shampoo. It looks like this. I used to use the Dove, but the Dove just leaves like this disgusting smell on it. And I don't know, it just, it smells like, like, um, deodorant. And I hate that smell. This one, um, this one smells a little bit less and it's a little bit more tolerable and um i also disguise it with the got to be hairspray so you don't smell it but this works amazing to um dry up any oil spots in the front or anything like that so that's what i use for my hair and um this is how my hair dries up natural it's very natural right now um it was longer let's see it's up to like under my boob before it was like you could stay up to there but I got a trend because I curl my hair a lot and my ends get damaged so I just needed a trim and that's what I did so this is how my natural hair is you guys this is how it dries up and my damaged ends are some of them are gone and some of them are still here because I did these are really damaged as you guys hope you guys can tell those are like extremely damaged but again I didn't want her to like cut it above my boobs so I told her you know just chop up a little bit I'm gonna try to give up heat for a little while and now um I'll come back and get it a trim again yeah those are basically all the products I use for my hair um basically my hair care routine I guess you guys could say yeah I think it's gonna be the the title of this video so that's everything I use so I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm going to have the products listed down below in the order I talked about them again thank you for stopping in my channel bye I guess you bye now she bye yeah now one care in the world right I get a kiss. Bye. It smells like. Why the hell is my light flickering? Cut how it looks when I. Well then, we knew. We know one of my light bulbs just died. That's why it was flickering. Okay. Wow, this room looks so dark now. Um, what was I saying? I totally forgot what 